Cause I didn't know I need you so Letting you go was wrong Baby, I know you got your radio on So this is my, my bad comeback song Hey, I'm Lisa Lee and we are here in Hollywood hanging out with uh, Mr. Darius Rucker. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? You have been on a little whirlwind West Coast jaunt this time out, haven't you? Seems like you've been everywhere. Yeah, we came out to do some stuff. It's, it's really cool when, you know, you can come out and do a few things at once because you know, I live in South Carolina. It's hard to, to get, you know, to get out west, especially during the holidays. You right. Know? With so a house full do. of kids, especially. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. They don't get really happy when you leave during the holidays, but you can do a lot of stuff at once. It, it's, it's fun. Yeah. Well, you're out here promoting this record, this new record. Mm -hmm. um, and fans at home might not know this, but the title is a sort of a tribute to Radney Foster yeah. and his record. Radney is, you know, people talk about who's you, who's the guy who made you want to sing. You know, Radney's the guy that really made me want to sing country music when I first heard Del Rio, Texas. And I tell people that that was really a moment where I'd, I'd love country music up there. You know, I had Nancy Griffith and, and Lyle Lovett and Dwight Yoakam, all these people I was madly in love with. But at that point, that was the first time I heard somebody that made me go, man, I really want to sing. I got to do that someday. Yeah. Man. Well, how cool was it that you got to work with him? Because you actually wrote with him on this record. Awesome. You know, it, it was really, it, that, that was one of the cool things about when I came to Nashville. And one of the things that made it, I think, a little easier for me is I, I'd been friends with him for years. Yeah. And when I came over and he had talked about me and, and you know, and so a couple other guys, Vince and some other guys that I've been friends with, and, you know, Raddy, to finally get to write with him and, and to write a song like Mike Get Lucky, which is such a cool... Yes. Little, little country tune that, and it's so funny. Every time I hear it, I laugh. You know, and uh, oh, it's so true. Oh. <laughs> if you're married and have kids, and you hear the song, you'll <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that's you know, I love that song, and, and being anything I can do with Radney is great. One overwhelming theme that I kind of picked out from the record and listening to it a bunch is the family theme, and you really seem to be in a place where you are so grateful for your kids and your wife and, and kind of what you have off stage. I'm really grateful to have made it to, to the other end of that, you know, the big party, and to finally realize what's important in life. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I wasn't always this guy. I wasn't always this smart. You know, and, and like like every everybody in the world, you know, I've had my problems, but it's really cool to be happy to have my kids, you know, and, and have my wife and just, Trying to make a just trying to make a life in Charleston. You know, I don't want to be the biggest guy on the block. Yeah. You know, I just want to make records and go back home to Charleston and live my life. Yeah. Well, you are working next year with Brad Paisley, right? You're still going to go back out oh, on tour. Oh goodness, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I wish I could do the whole year with Brad. It, it really is something that I'm so. We got January and February and a couple of days in March together, and I'm so really just disappointed. I, I, I'm looking <laughs> at the end of it, and I saw the last. I was look, I was looking at the calendar yesterday, and I yeah. saw the last three dates. And there's two things I thought. I thought, this is going to be really sad because I've loved every minute of it. Yeah. I mean, we've, he's a great guy. We've had a great time. And I thought, I'm so scared of that week. And, of <laughs> you and you should be because any oh, Brad fans goodness. know I'm he's so a professional. You better, you better start planning uh, now, buddy. I can, I, what can I plan? You, that you, he, you, what can I plan? I, I don't know. Anybody at home got any ideas? There's nothing Email I can Darius and do. let him know. There's nothing I can do to him <laughs> that he will not trump the next day. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm, I'm so scared of that week. <laughs> Well, the cool thing is, though, you've gotten to do two really, I think, cool songs with him recently. Well, obviously, on the record, I don't care, which is hysterical. Yeah, funny. Record. W why did you think of him for that? He thought of me, which made the which, which made it for me as, because you know, I still got that new kid on the block feel, and you know, all this thing that you know, the country world's going around, and I, and I, I seem to have my nice niche that I'm making myself right in the middle, mm -hmm. you know, being noticed but not noticed, just having a good time. Under the radar. And, you know, under the radar. <laughs> yeah, and it's cool. And and he was. Writing the song with Chris Dubois, who I write a lot with, also, mm -hmm. and uh, they were writing "I Don't Care," and they wrote the first verse and and, the, and part of the chorus, and and they just said, you know, it's a duet, and Brad decided that he had had a few duets on his record, and they they said, you know, it's called Eric's. I said, yeah, it's so funny how you listen to the record, and you know, I don't drink very much, and Brad doesn't drink at all, and right, and you that's why it's that. so funny. I mean, listen, if you know it, and you listen to the record, and you would think that we were drinking the whole time we were yep. making it, because yep. by the end of it, we just sound hammered, man. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it's a lot of fun making that. Record. Okay, so n not only that song, but I'm sure many people at home saw the uh, "To All the Friends I've Owned Before." That went viral, didn't it? That, yes, it did. <laughs> was, yes, it did. That was crazy. That was something that you know we were on tour together, and we're both friends with Kimmel. 
-hmm. you know, and uh, his producer was out and, you know, they had this great idea and Brad said, yeah, ask me if I wanted to do this, I was like, absolutely, and, you know, I thought it was something cool and they made it, yeah, it sounded great, and Brad and I, and we sang it and had a great time and then I saw it on Kimmel and laughed. Uh -huh. Then the next day, you know, I'm getting all these emails it's about everywhere. it. It's everywhere. <laughs> and I just, I thought, because see, I don't even know how to un a friend, so. Well, I was going to say, are you a Facebook guy? Do you actually do any of that stuff? I read them sometimes, you know, but I, I don't really know much. I'm not a really computer computer. You know, that's our guy. that's us. That's our generation, though. Yeah. It's like the guys under us. That's all day long. That's oh, all they do. Yeah. You know, it's a little it's a little un, a little more unusual for us to be on it all it's the time. It's really embarrassing when your nine year old, you know, is teaching you something. <laughs> yeah, or your five year old can work your iPhone oh. and you can't. Oh, yeah. absolutely, something that you just have no idea, and you go, really? You could do that. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Well, okay, I know even if you don't do the social media stuff, I know that you are big into the fantasy football because you've told me that before and how you run all these leagues. And how are you doing this year? I was just on my leagues writing notes. Writing no, <laughs> I, I, I'm like the, uh, I'm, a, I'm the journalist of my leagues. Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Carlos Kornheiser. That's who I write <laughs> under. And so I was just, just upstairs before I came out here writing uh, stories about my league. And all right, now that. right here, right now, are you going to make predictions for the Super Bowl? I want to say the Ravens. <laughs> I really like the Ravens okay. and the AFC a lot. And then the, I'm going to really go on a limb and say the, the Eagles. Okay, the Ravens and the Eagles. You heard it here? Yep. We'll check back in Absolutely. February and find out what's going on. And I'm going to be like Nostra Darius. <laughs> I think that should be your new pen name. The, there you yeah, go, Nostradarius. That's going to be the name of my next record. Don't get the mouth my bed, come back. So. Yeah. I know I, I said I want to miss ya. I said I want to miss ya, girl. I say na 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 na